Hi, I'm Wake Speed Jr., Certified Lubrication Specialist with Driven Racing Oil, and today we're going to talk about direct injection engines and how direct injection affects motor oil. In case you're not familiar with all the intricacies of direct injection engines, we're going to give you a little bit of a primer about how direct injection engines are unique and different from port injected or carbureted engines. As the name implies, direct injection engines actually inject the fuel directly in to the combustion chamber. Whereas in a traditional port injected or carbureted engine, the fuel is in introduced or injected into the intake manifold and then drawn into the combustion chamber by the intake stroke of the crankshaft. You may be wondering, what does this have to do with lubrication? It actually has a lot to do with lubrication. You see, when the fuel is injected into the combustion chamber, if that fuel does not vaporize, it won't burn. The engine has to convert the liquid fuel into a vapor in order for it to burn. And that's what's happening in the engine. The fuel is being vaporized and then burned. If the fuel won't vaporize, it can't burn. And that unvaporized, unburnt fuel begins to dilute and mix with the oil. The problem with the direct injection engine is at low engine speeds, you have less turbulence, less heat, less things that help vaporize the fuel. So you tend to have higher levels of fuel dilution. And again, that's where things begin to go badly for the oil because of that heavy dilution of the fuel mixing with the oil. In the next video, we're gonna talk about the things that happen to the oil because of that higher level of fuel dilution. One of those is a thing called low speed pre-ignition. We'll see you in the next video and talk a little bit more about low speed pre-ignition and how it affects a direct injection engine. Thanks for watching.